Rangers may be the challengers for the Scottish Premiership title, but according to John Hartson, they are favourites for this Sunday's Old Firm Derby. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. It is Derby Week, the Old Firm Sunday. Celtic versus Rangers, Rangers versus Celtic, two of the biggest teams in Glasgow, two of the biggest teams in Scotland, hell, two of the biggest teams in the world are competing. Therefore, there's lots of hype. There's lots of stuff going about, there's lots of speculation, who's going to win it, who's going to do what, what players are going to be available, who's favourites, will this decide who wins the title, everyone is talking, and that includes former Celtic player, possibly former legend John Hartz, and whether he's a legend or not, very good player for Celtic in his day, and uh, he was giving his opinion on the upcoming match, but he has maybe surprisingly labelled Rangers as favourites for this game, now he did pretty much put it down to the old firm home advantage, I guess, he thinks because of the attendances and, and because Celtic will have no fans there that that does benefit Rangers, and of course it benefits Rangers, but does that make them favourites? We've already seen teams win with no fans. We've seen Celtic earlier this season win at Ibrox. So, yeah, I don't think it's a massive issue, but John Hartson reckons that is enough to make Rangers favourites. So this is what he had to say on Go Radio. And he says, quote, I think both teams will want to start fast, put their stamp on the game, keep the ball and frustrate the opposition. We know that Celtic keep the ball very well. That is part of their game with Matt O'Reilly and Rio Tati. Obviously, whether it's Tomoki Owata or if it's Callum McGregor makes it to start the game. I think Ro I think Rangers will have the edge because it is home advantage and there is not one single Celtic fan in Ibrox. Whether that puts an extra bit of pressure on them or if Celtic can just play free and make an open game, I do think the way Rangers can get at Celtic is that high press, keeping a high line and obviously the crowd will be getting behind them as well. At times, Celtic will need to defend very well and break. I think they will look to play on the counter-attack. Cameron Carter-Fickers is key to that. But also the wide men in Dyson Meda and Nicholas Kuhn, they are both rapid. James Tavernier and Borna Barisic will want to push them back towards their own goal. And we know Kyogo scored in both games this season. The winner at Ibrox and that wonder goal at Celtic Park. This is a game for big players. Top players stand out. Normally make the difference. Rangers have got a couple and Celtic have them. It is so difficult to call. The only reason I say Rangers for me... Our slight favourites is because of the home advantage, end of quote. So, Hartson then saying that Rangers are favourites, even if it's just slight favourites, he's given the edge to Rangers purely because of home advantage. I'm not sure how much I agree with that. Yes, you would rather be at home. I mean, no one is denying that, but I think Rangers are probably the favourites going into this game just because they're playing better than Celtic. They've been the better team for the past, what, three, four months, pretty much since Clement came in. Rangers have been better than Celtic. They've been beating teams more convincingly than Celtic. I think they've just been playing better football, getting better results, and winning a lot easier than Celtic have been winning. So when you factor all that stuff in, I think Rangers are the better side. Went further in the Cup, actually went on to win the Cup, went further in Europe, could possibly go further in the Scottish Cup. I just think Rangers, ever since Bale left, have been the much better side. And I would, even if this game was happening at Celtic Park this weekend, I would probably say Rangers are favourites. I, I, I do not think that home advantage would be enough for me to purely give the the favourite tag to Celtic. I just don't see that. The way they're playing, I'm, go I'm going to say no. I, I think Rangers are the better team. I think Rangers have been playing better. I mean, home advantage will help, but like I said, whether this was at Celtic or whether it was a neutral venue, if it was like a cup final or something, I would still be fancying Rangers. So uh, we'll see what happens. Obviously, Celtic have already won two of these already this season. They've won one at Ibrox and they've won one at Celtic Park. The reality is Celtic might probably will actually need to win another if they have it. Maybe even win the next two if they want to retain their title because I just look at both old firm sides and, and I would say that Celtic are more likely to slip up again against uh, the teams outside of Glasgow. I think Celtic are more likely to drop points than Rangers uh, in other games in the league. So therefore, I think Celtic, if they're going to have a chance of winning their, their title back, I think they need at least a win and a draw for the next two old firm games. 
don't know if they could do it with just if they shared a win each. I don't know if that's going to be enough because then Rangers would have that two point gap. They've also got better goal difference as well. So I think the pressure's on Celtic. For me, they cannot afford to lose this. I would go as far as saying that if Celtic lose this, I think the title is, is close to being over. So for me, it's a, it's a must. I'm not saying it's a must win for Celtic, but it's certainly a must not lose for Celtic. If they do lose this, then Rangers beat Dundee. The gap would be five points. Rangers would have the better goal difference. Then all of a sudden, the pressure on Celtic is immense because they would need to beat Rangers. There's no doubt about it. They would 100% have to beat Rangers at Celtic Park. And then they would need Rangers to lose a game. Or if Rangers didn't lose another game, they would need Rangers to at least draw another game. And for Celtic to win everything, plus accumulate a better goal difference than Rangers to overtake them in that aspect. Because it would be level on points. So, yeah, no, for me, Rangers' favourite for this upcoming game, favourites for the title. I would say for the old firm game this Sunday, I, I would probably give Rangers like a 65, 35%, you know, 65% chance, I would say. I think it's like 65, 35. And to be honest, probably similar, if not a bit more for the league. I've probably got Rangers about 70, 70, 30 for the league. Maybe a wee bit higher than that. I think it will, I'll, I'll probably know more <laughs> by the time we get to the split. And obviously, uh, this Sunday will tell us a lot. But it's a game that, in my opinion, Celtic cannot afford to lose. And if they do lose it, I think they lose their title as well. So that's my opinion, guys. That's John Hartson's opinion. Catch you in the next one. Looking forward to this. Uh, hopefully you can get a good weekend of Scottish football. I didn't think last week was that good. I don't know. It was, a, it was a, just a boring week. Nothing really happened. You know, it was nothing. A lot of the results were just predictable. And uh, there was quite a few draws in there that didn't really help anybody either. So, yeah, last week was a wee bit... It was a poor week, I think, for Scottish football. Maybe it's just because the international break and it came back and weren't really in the flow of things. And I don't know. Hopefully this week's better, guys. We'll see what happens. Anyway, SPFL preview show will be up on Thursday night, tomorrow night then. And then, obviously, it's going to be some weekend of Scottish football action. And I'm here for it, man. So, aye, looking forward to it. Catch you in the next one, guys. Been Fog Football. Till next time. Peace.